Hello all. In this video, we will learn how to enable global auto hold in CA workload automation E in R11 plus 3 versions. So before we learn how to enable the global auto hold, let me give you a brief introduction about what is global auto hold. The global auto hold parameter specifies whether to start the scheduler in a global auto hold mode if you restart a scheduler after a period of downtime. You might want to start it in a global auto hold mode. Starting the scheduler in global auto hold mode prevents the system from being flooded with the jobs after a period of downtime. So let's learn how to enable the global auto hold. Please log in to the Autosys user and go to the Autosys install location, which is default in my mission, and do a ls lt. You might see a config file here. Do a cat on it and grep with global auto hold. Then you can see the parameter it is not enabled. So let's see how does it makes a difference. Already I have installed couple of jobs. One job runs forever and another one is a box job. So let me show you which job runs forever. I have a job called global auto hold test hyphen Q wherein it runs for each and every minute. So let's see when did the job run actually. You can see here the job last run time is 652 and it is in success. So once we enable the global auto hold mode, this job goes automatically on hold unless we force start it. And I do have another box job. which went to success at 9 at say at 642 so let's go ahead and uh, enable the global auto hold open the config file with a vi editor and replace i with 0 with 1 and save the file. Once you save the file, make sure that you are restarting the scheduler. Please do a Uniserve Center status which lists all the services which are running from the product Autosys. You can see here the PID of scheduler is 2987. So let's go ahead and restart the services. The services are getting restarted now. The service has got restarted now. Let's go ahead and see. Yes, I do see that the service has got restarted. So let's see what is the status of the job which runs each and every minute. It is on hold as of now. So let's see what really happens in case if we force start a box job. As you see that the box job as well as the sub jobs are in success now. 
as soon as I force start the box job, the sub jobs will go to a on hold status. So this means that unless we off hold the global param global on hold parameter, the jobs will be on hold status even though if we force start the box job and they won't run unless and until it is force started. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, you can refer product documentation, CA communities, and CA learning paths. Thanks a lot for thanks a lot.